Hello, good morning ladies and gentlemen. Let's have this difficult conversation. I call it difficult conversation because sometimes when you want to challenge a norm, it becomes difficult conversation because when something has become like, oh, that is the status quo and you begin to ask questions and challenge it, then it becomes like difficult conversation. Now, we that we are parents now, we were once children and there were some things that we were, uh, you know, not exposed to because of the conservativeness of our parents. A lot of us could have been a professional swimmer, a professional musician, a professional speaker, a professional this or that, but because of the conservativeness of our parents, you were told, oh yeah, you have to be a medical doctor, you have to be an engineer to be successful, you have to be a nurse to be successful, you have to be an accountant to be successful, forgetting that sometimes your talent does more good for you your hobby does more good for you many of you while growing up you really enjoyed playing football some of you really enjoyed you know singing you enjoyed you know designing things drawing but those things you know you let them behind maybe in your high school or in your university because you because you were told that you should focus on the important thing which is becoming an engineer civil engineer electrical engineer or a doctor they classify those kind of children who are serious in those area as diligence diligent children serious children children worthy of emulation whereas the children who are working on their talent who are good writers singers musicians who plays football properly who could play basketball properly they count those children and are serious and they tell you don't be like so so and so see those are some of the things that are you know killing the talents of young people of children and in this 21st century you cannot be that kind of parent who is closed-minded who is rigid and who is overly conservative that way you are going to cause a lot of damages than good for your children when you see your children displaying certain wonderful traits effortlessly you should not kill that trait you should find a way to develop that trait all right you should find a way to help them restructure channel it in a way that is going to be profitable for them in the future for example if you see that your child loves you know singing or you know making sounds from non-living things like your pots your spoon making sounds you should ask your child do you like to drum do you like to play instrument which instrument do you like and try to help that child develop you know that aspect that they are actually displaying effortlessly their skill you should help them develop it into something that will be profitable to them yes we we'll, we all know that education is good education you know puts you on a higher pedestal but as much as you are educating your child help them to discover their talents and build on that talent don't allow conservativeness to you know make you acting against the success of your children and in this 21st century you cannot say because you are conservative parent you are not taking into cognizance the uniqueness of this age that you have he, see as a parent even if you were not exposed to certain way of life for example you don't see swimming as a life skill and you don't even know how to swim as a parent you should make up your mind that your children should know these things Yes, some of us were not exposed to certain things, but in this age, your child will be at a more disadvantage point when you don't, when you don't teach them some of these things. Yes, for you as an adult, those things may not really be affecting you negatively now, but you can be sure for your children in this present age, they will be more at an, a disadvantage, they will be more at a disadvantage than you if they don't learn those things so please you see you cannot in the name of i am conservative you now deprive your children of things that will set them up for success in life yes some people they they practice their profession and they are successful 
and there are also some people whose profession will just be like yes i have a degree in this but their passion their hobby will actually be what will set them up for success so when i was growing up i was a shy person i couldn't speak like i couldn't even face a small crap but i when i got into the university i had to build up that aspect of me i love teaching i love and i thought oh I have not actually, you know, developed this speaking aspect of me and it was something that I intentionally did for myself and yes, it has been a blessing to a number of people. You see, sometimes you actually think that some things are not useful for your children but they are things that can actually set them up for success in life. So yes, you are conservative. But understand the timing. Be like men of Isiaka. Understand the times that we are in. And make sure you are that wise parent. Who will help your children to discover their talents. Build their talents. Build a structure for them. Set them up for success in life. So that you will play your own part. In helping them to be who God wants them to be. Don't be that kind of parent because of your conservativeness. You are restraining your children from being who God wants them to be. Alright? So, let us have to this conversation. I know there are a lot of conservative people on my friend list. <laughs> so, how to this conversation. How well are you helping your children to lead that balanced and successful life? that they need in this age that we are or you still want your children to be living stone age in this information and a high age you are still you know restricting your children from learning all that they need to learn to set them up for a successful future think on this thing think on these things as a parent and i pray that god will give you wisdom to understand the line of this conversation even though there are a lot of things that needs to be said a lot of hammers to eat on the head but let's leave it at this let us hold this difficult conversation because that is what can help us that is what can help our children all right so thank you very much for listening to me please do well to add to this conversation in comments and if you like this kind of conversation please do well to share like and comment and continue to follow this page until i see you in my next video stay blessed bye bye